This is a review for a series called Kyle XY. I fucking loved this series, and I haven't watched it in a few years, so I think I might have to go back and watch it again to remember how it ends. I don't remember how it ends, so I'm not gonna, like, say the ending was great or the ending was terrible. The inform- like, the main thing I remember, and I'm gonna say this because I'm gonna read the information next, is this teenage boy is found wandering around. I don't remember if he's naked or, like, in, like, minimal clothes or something like that. Because I remember, like, him having a, a bare torso. I remember that clearly, but I also think that changed. I have no idea. Because he doesn't have a belly button. So I remember him wandering around. A doctor or someone who works in a medical field finds him. And she calls him Kyle XY. Or she calls him, um... She calls him Kyle instead of John Doe, which would be the mystery name, because she reminded him of someone named Kyle. I remember that straight out. Somehow she ends up fostering him in a sense, and he lives with her family, and nothing about him, Kyle, is normal. He's smarter than your average person and has, like, weird, I guess, abilities, but he's not, like, you have to train him all, like, he's like a baby, and it's, it's so odd. Now, the information says a teenage boy is found wandering naked and dazed in traffic. At a nearby youth detention center, authorities discover that this kid, Kyle, is a savant who's missing instinctive human behavior like joy, anger, and love. Stranger still, he's missing the only one thing every mammal has, a belly button. One of his central one of the center psychologists, psychologists, I guess, not medical, Natalie Traeger realizes that Kyle needs special attention, so she brings him home to live with her family. Soon, Styles, Styles, Kyle starts to investigate his origins, and some people aren't too happy about it. So I am going to give a spoiler away that we do find out that he was kind of created in a lab, which is really fucking awesome. And then there's a woman. who I remember the series being amazing until the woman character came into play. Let me see if I can remember her name. Jessie. Jessie XX. I like Jamie Alexander, the actress who plays her. I've seen her in other things and she's great. But when I saw her in this role, which is the first thing I saw her in, I hated this character. I hated her. I hated everything about it. I'm like, you're ruining this fucking series. Go away. And I don't remember how it ends. I just remember, like, when she came onto it, I, I kind of, like, dipped out and lost interest. But I do remember it being a great show. It is only three seasons. I don't think it got a, like, conclusive ending. I think it was just, like, ended abruptly because as soon as I type in Kyle XY to get the information, all of the search pot, like searches are, why did it end so quickly? Why was it canceled? Why did we not get an ending? So, yeah. Brace yourself for that <laughs> if you do watch it. What are your thoughts on Kyle XY if you have seen it? It's available on Hulu currently. Well, uh, please comment, like, or subscribe and let me know what you think.